In this video, we'll demonstrate how to set up a backend code file using the web methods SDK package. Backend files should be used for writing functions that you don't want to expose directly to your site visitors. Additionally, using backend functions is recommended for optimal performance of server-related tasks, such as reading data from a collection or using data from a third-party API. Within each file, you'll be able to determine the permissions that each function will use. This is divided between site members, anyone, and admins. This gives you an additional layer of security for each function. Now, keep in mind that these permissions are only for who can call the function. There may be additional considerations and permissions for the logic inside your function, depending on the APIs that you're using. Now, let's see how to do this. To set up a backend file in the Studio Editor, open the left menu, select Backend in Public, and click the plus button to open a new file. Give it a logical name and a new file will open. You can delete the boilerplate co code here as we won't be using it. We'll use this file to demonstrate a simple data return to our page. We can add the SDK package by starting to type our first import line, import permissions and web methods from at Wix web methods. In this line, you will notice an error. Hovering over the error, Wix will suggest the package to directly install in the IDE. And once this package is installed, we can now write our functions. First, let's write some simple logic that will be handled here on the backend. Backend file functions can be declared in the regular manner and will only be accessible within the scope of the backend. This function contains an array of greeting messages and takes in a parameter of call number to return a hello message from our array. To call a file from the front end, we will need to write a function that defines an export const name and set the permissions for the function. We can pass parameters if needed and write our logic, then return the data that will be passed back to the front end. To test our backend function, we can use the run function feature in the editor. Here, we pass the parameter and see the results that we get in return. Next, in your page code, to use the function on the front end of the site, you will import it at the top of your file. Then, in your page on ready function, set a variable for call count and start it at zero. On each click of the button, we want to display one of the messages from our hello array and advance the count. Now, click preview to test the experience before going live. We can see that our backend function is working and our message is updating as expected. Next, we will modify the function permissions to admin to test a more restrictive function that only our admin users should be able to initiate. In preview mode, you are running as an admin user, so as expected, we can still access this function. Click publish and let's test as an anonymous site visitor. Clicking on the button produces no result because we haven't coded any kind of error message that the user can see. If we open the console, we can see that the access is denied based on the permission. The Web Methods SDK package provides important security for your backend code functions. Check the links in the descriptions to continue learning, and be sure to subscribe to our developer channel and join the community on Discord.